Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you haven't yet already, subscribe to the channel, follow my Instagram, link down below. So today what we're doing is we're working on the Flip G. This is the second flip on the channel. Hopefully many more flips to come. So she is all washed. Uh, she's looking great and still couldn't get all the dirt off. I mean, this thing is, is pretty bad. You can tell on the roof, I mean, the, it's been sitting for a little bit, but uh, it looks good for the pictures enough. So we snap those before it gets dirty ever again. Um, the rear axle shaft bearing and seal is completely shot. So we're going to dive into that first. So uh, if it takes longer than necessary, you know, we have time to go to the, you know, the parts store, get some parts before they close. So first things first, I have to drive the vehicle, take off the tire, and then we're going to have to take off the caliper, the uh, caliper bracket. We're going to have to take off the rotor, and then we're going to get into the wheel bearing area, which is there's four bolts on uh, that are holding it on. You're going to need a slide hammer to get that off, and then once that comes off, you'll be able to remove the, uh, the axle uh, um, shaft itself. So um, let's get right, to so it. You, you know how I said all the wheel bearing is, uh, you know, toasty, toasting the critters? Well, it kind of is because the stud snapped off, and then for the axle shaft seal, it is leaking the gear oil everywhere from the diff. Uh, but um, I don't think this tire is on. What do you think, Contour? Not thinking so. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, that's not safe. No wonder why when I was driving, it was like, you know? But all right, anyways, let's dive into that is terrible. That's not safe. All right, well, let's dive into this. Let's remove the tire and hop on. All right, so first things first you wanna do is you wanna take off your caliper. As you can tell, this is completely covered in gear oil. It is really nasty. Hopefully this is salvageable after we you know, clean it up, scrape off this gear oil and gunk off. Uh, in the back here, uh, to get to the caliper bolts, there is a little cap right here. You're gonna go, you're gonna take off the cap on the top and the cap on the bottom here. That's nasty, completely covered. All right, just coming around to the caliper, you're gonna need T25 torque fit after you move the caps. I go. Yeah. Holy shit. Damn. You're gonna need a breaker bar. Yeah. Oh, got that. Jeez, I'm trying to like not get my face in the grease here. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to even touch it. There we go. Watch out. Did <laughs> you get pads? Yeah. Jesus. They're meat there. It's just that they're completely saturated in grease and then. Oh. Oh my gosh, that is just disgusting. So in the back here, there's four bolts. Uh, they're 15 millimeter. There's two and then on top and two on the bottom. You might want to heat those up or spray them with some penetrating fluid. This one we don't have to because, well, as you can tell, it's completely lubricated, covered in gear oil. Uh, so, when I, I'm not too worried about uh, stripping the bolts in like that. They're already pre-lubricated pretty damn well. I mean, I'm getting these off effortlessly, so I'm pretty happy about that. I'm not happy about doing this job because this is actually a pain in the butt. Unless they wanted to come off, really, up on top. And it's just nasty. I'm just getting shit everywhere. The brake hardware looks really nice inside, car, Nice and shiny. I could eat off that. <laughs> all right, that's done on that side. Coming all the way here. This is just, this is a treat right here. <laughs> that's pretty nasty. Ah, oh, Jesus. Well, you know, at least it's not it's not rust that rotted out this backing plate, and I think I I might have an idea why.
It's Christmas! <laughs> that was the first thing I was about to say. <laughs> Mark's hoping he's Christmas gifts. Bought by himself. Thanks, Mark. You're the best. What? This isn't even, they're all over the place. That's it. I'm returning it. I don't want it anymore. All right. All right, so you're gonna wanna get the slide hammer to remove it. Um, I w or you can go ahead and buy it. I do so many of these things that I don't actually treat myself to a tool versus having to go down to Advanced or, or AutoZone or O'Reilly's to rent this thing. Um, it's pretty simple. You know, you rent your, your, your slide hammer, you screw it on into the claw here. All the way in. This is my tool, so I'm actually going to screw it all the way in versus just go buck wild on the rental. You're going to slide it on out. And then right here, so you have your bearing here, you have your collar, and then right inside here is your seal, and the seal is what was leaking all down in the back here. Even though the bearing might not be done, but you gotta take it off to get to it, which kind of blows, right? I take that out too. Okay, let that's out. Check, make sure nothing else is there. We're all set. All right, now we just gotta work on getting this thing off to get it off. We gotta cut her off. So let's head on outside. All right, so now that we're more light, I'll show you guys up and close. So here's your collar, here's your bearing, and then right in here is your uh, your seal, and that's what that is blown pretty much. So what we're gonna do is you have to cut this off, then we'll tap it down, and then you have to cut this off, and then we'll tap it down with the chisel, and then this, the seal obviously just comes right off, and then so it is in this collar, comes right off, easy, easy, lemon and squeezy. Um, and then the stud here, you're gonna have to just push it out. All right, since we're already out, we're gonna take this stud and we're gonna hit it on out. Ow, that kind of hurt. And just gonna replace this. This is uh, fairly easy to put in. Um, now that that's out, we can get a new one on there. Um, but now we're gonna do is we're gonna concentrate on the collar and the bearing and get this job done because we're probably gonna have to get it pressed in somewhere. All right, let's get to it. All right, now that the bearing's off, you go ahead, get your oil seal off. This, this is your inner race right here from the, uh, the wheel bearing, we're gonna have to, we gotta cut that off as well. All right, so you're gonna wanna make sure that this ridge right here on the, the bearing is facing towards the uh, tire. And you're gonna take your collar, put it on over, and then this is gonna get pressed all the way down and in with the press. We're gonna head on to the shop and get that done right now. And then on the way back, we're gonna stop and we're gonna get a lug for that, right? Lug? Stud. Stud, thanks. A stud for that. Um, and put it back in and call it a day for this video, I guess you could say. And then there's probably gonna be another video that's recorded the same day. But all right, you'll see this when this is all set and pressed in, back here, ready to assemble it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna slide her on in. All right, so after uh, going to my buddy's house to have him reset the bearing a little bit, pressed it a little more, I went down to a garage to press it in. They didn't press it in all the way. 
just that little bit just makes a difference. It really does. So I took a little bit of a chisel to get this in. I, I whacked it right there and on all four corners where the studs are that come around and they come through onto the back side here. There's four of them, there's little tiny little nuts like this. I was able to get it pushed in enough where all the studs come out the back now and this is in just just enough. It's sad and pretty good. <sighs> Long day with this thing, I'm telling you that right now. Um, but I'm glad it's it's going its way now and uh, let's get back to assemble this thing. So now that it's in there like that, we got the stud that's back on there now. Brand new stud. We got the four studs that are going out the back. We're gonna take, the, I already got two on there. We're gonna take the, the rest of the two, we're gonna put that on there. And then we're gonna reassemble this whole thing real nice, nice and quick. So let's get to it. All right, now, when it comes to the bearing, you want to be careful. Um, sometimes when it goes in, you seat it in, it's not in all the way, you're frustrated, you don't know why, like what I was doing. Sometimes you just gotta make sure that all the four studs are aligned, ready to go in to their holes, and then you're gonna give it a couple of taps. That gasket, that O-ring right there, might cause you some issues, but definitely the bearing has to be seated all the way. Has to be, has to be. So, when you put it in there, make sure it goes right in, nice, nice, there's no, uh, it's in there good, you'll know when it's in there. And just tap, tap, tap around where those four little um, studs are to pop it right through with the uh, chisel. And a good type of wax on the outside where the, the spindle is. And it should go in right, right, nice, nice. So guys, take your time, it's frustrating. It's a long thing, but once it's all said and done, thank God. All right guys, and that is it. That took way too long than I wanted to, but it's on there. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna jack up a little bit, we're gonna lay her down, and that is it for today. So guys, that is how you replace a rear axle shaft seal and bearing. Whew. Helps a lot with the press, I'll tell you that right now, you wanna press. You don't wanna do anything else besides the press. But, all right guys, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, do whatever you wanna do, and I'll catch you on the next video.